Today, we're talking about building a simple name generator website that's making over $10,000 a month all completely passively. And I can hear you thinking, you're thinking, hey, you need years of coding experience to build something like this. But what if I told you that that is completely wrong, especially today? Because most people believe that creating a profitable website requires advanced programming skills, expensive developers, and then months of technical work. And that's what I used to think before for too, but here's the thing now. I just discovered a website, namegenerator.com, that's getting over 1 million visitors every month with a $10 RPM, which means that they're pulling in over $10,000 monthly through simple Google AdSense ads. And the crazier part, the entire site is just a basic name generator. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build your own version of this money-making website using just one AI tool, even if you have zero coding knowledge like myself. We're going to set up Google AdSense for passive income and then connect Stripe for premium features. So let's go ahead and dive in. The AI tool that will take care of everything for us today in this video is Lovable. And with the special link in the description below, you will get double the credits. So you'll definitely have more than enough credits to build your own app. All right. So coming up with a perfect name can be surprisingly frustrating. Maybe it's for a story character, a game profile, or even just a fun alias for that Reddit account. You can spend hours scrolling lists and then still feel stuck. And then when you think you found the right one, it then starts to feel too common, too plain, or it just doesn't match the vibe that you're now going for. And then before you know it, like myself, you're on your 20th tab on your third cup of coffee and still no closer to a name that actually sticks. Now, I want to make that process quicker, more enjoyable, and all in one place. So here's what I'm going to tell the AI. Build a clean and modern one-page website that provides a variety of name generators for different purposes offering tools to generate names based on surnames, genders, and birth years, as well as specialized generators for context, like character names for writing, including English character names. All right, first things first, important disclaimer here, because building websites and making money online is not easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. So when I show you how to build a website, for example, I'm demonstrating the technology process and the potential, I am not guaranteeing your results. Now, these AI tools, they're legit and the techniques do work, but success, as with all else in life, depends on your execution, your timing, and honestly, some luck. Most websites, they don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all even. So I'm not promising that you're going to get rich or that you quit your job to not do that. This is not financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools. Now, what you do with the knowledge of those tools, well, that's entirely up to you. All right, so with those expectations set, let's go ahead and continue building this website because what we have here now, as you can see, is a clean, modern one-pager site where each generator is laid out in its own clear section, making it easy to jump between surname, gender, birth year, and specialized character name options without too many distraction. And while it is already functional, I do want the text specifically to be even easier on the eyes, no matter what device someone might be using. So I am going to follow up with a prompt with something like this. Improve the font styling to ensure clarity and readability on all devices. Change the gradient background and adjust text shadow or subtle outline for better separation from the background. And instantly, as you can see, the typography looks a lot cleaner with the new font styling looking more balanced and the subtle text shadows here, adding just enough contrast so that every name stands out clearly as a name should, right? So the whole page now looks a lot more polished and inviting, perfect for the next step 
which is expanding what the generator can actually do. After all, a great looking site is even better when it offers more ways to create. Sometimes one name generator just isn't enough. You might need a quick random pick one moment, then a super specific name for a baby, a pet, or even an entire fictional planet the next. So to make sure that the site covers all of those bases, I'm going to tell Lovable something like this. Add multiple name generation options, including random name generation, guided name generation with filters, and names tailored for different purposes, such as characters, babies, pets, places, businesses, and more. Okay, so now as you can see, the site offers a variety of generation types, and switching between them is seamless. For a quick random set, I can open the drop-down menu here. I'm gonna choose full name. I'm gonna set the count to five and then click generate names to see results instantly. If I'm looking for baby names, for example, I can choose the gender, I can pick a style like modern, and then set the origin to American for more tailored results. Character names also work much the same way. I'll just select a genre here like fantasy. I'm gonna set the role to hero, and then I'm gonna pick an era such as futuristic. For pet names, I'll select the type, say, I don't know, cat, I have cats, choose a style like funny, set the size, and then generate. Now, place names are also customizable by selecting a type like planet and then setting the setting to sci-fi and choosing an atmosphere such as industrial. Even business names can be shaped by selecting the industry, picking a style like say professional of course, and then setting the length. Now, each option is straightforward to use, which means it makes it even easier to find exactly the kind of name I might have in mind without getting too bogged down in endless searches. Even with all these different name generation types, the real magic happens when you can fine tune the results to match exactly what you're looking for. So like finding the right name isn't just about luck. No, it's about narrowing down the possibilities until you land on something that fits perfectly. Now, the more control that you have over that kind of search, the less time we waste scrolling through names that just don't match our vision. So this is a prompt we're going to send over to Lovable to give our users that kind and level of control. Integrate filtering and customization tools, allowing users to filter by country, nationality, religion, gender, male, female, or both, and name popularity by birth year, along with keyword-based suggestions using thesaurus integration. Okay, so after that, our site now includes powerful filtering options that make name generation far more precise and user-friendly. So for example, I can filter results by country or nationality, religion, gender, and even name popularity for a specific birth year. Jennifer, for example, if you guys watch Friends during the 90s. So if I want to create a random name, I can set the type to full name, choose the gender as a male. I'm going to set the nationality here to Hebrew, pick the religion as Jewish, choose the birth year as the 2000s, and then set the count to five. Clicking generate instantly gives me a tailored list that matches every single one of those filters. The keyword based search adds another layer of flexibility using the thesaurus integration to suggest related options I might not have even thought of. It really is a quick way to branch out into similar styles or themes without starting from scratch. After setting up a strong filtering system, I do want to make sure that those tools work across a variety of specific needs because different situations call for different kinds of names and having them all in one place does make the site much more versatile. It will be a lot easier when there's a dedicated section designed for each purpose. So to accomplish all of that, let's go ahead and tell Lovable to include specialized name categories and separate this section, such as character names for creative writing, baby names, pet names, business names, band names, rap names, pen names, and fake privacy names. Okay, so as you can see, the site has its own section now for these specialized categories where I can jump straight to the type that I might need. 
character names for creative writing, for example, baby names, pet names, business names, band names, rap names, you know what's up, pen names, and even fake or privacy names, they're all right here. And while most of them work as expected, some were initially kind of like falling back to the default generator and then returning some random person names instead. I, that's not how it's supposed to work. So to fix that, I'm just gonna send up a follow-up prompt, something like this. The new band names, pen names, rap names, and privacy names are giving inaccurate results when generating names. The results are very different. Okay, so after that simple follow-up prompt, the accuracy improves immediately with each category now producing names that match its purpose and are authentic to the context that they're meant for. Having these specialized sections in place also makes the generator a lot more versatile. But there's still one more step to take them from good to truly memorable, and that's enhancing how the names are created in the first place. Sometimes the most interesting names aren't the ones you've seen before, they're the ones that feel like they have a story behind them. And adding a layer of cultural awareness and creativity makes every suggestion feel a lot more intentional, especially for users who want names that say stand out instead of blending in. So here's what I'm gonna tell Lovable to do. Implement advanced name generation methods that use thesaurus and word lists for related name suggestions, create entirely unique names beyond database lookups, and consider cultural and historical context in suggestions. All right, so the site now offers an advanced generation toggle that I can turn on or off. And when it is enabled, the tool taps into AI algorithms to create unique culturally informed names. And it doesn't just pull from a preset list. No, it uses the source integration to explore related words, then builds entirely new names that feel authentic and original. So to see the difference, I'm gonna test in the character name section here with the feature turned off first. And the results are fine, but you know, fairly they're quite standard. So now let's switch it on and the output changes immediately. The names come with richer cultural context, hints of linguistic patterns even, and expanded meanings tied to specific traditions or histories. However, different people need names for different reasons and making those possibilities clear turns the site from a simple tool into something people can actually picture themselves using. Because if I'm not gonna use it, why would you? right it's not just about generating words on a page it's more about helping someone solve a specific need or bring an idea to life so that's why i'm gonna go ahead and tell the ai this highlight use cases for creative writers and storytellers new parents privacy conscious users needing fake identities developers and designers avoiding lorem ipsum placeholder text, and general entertainment or inspiration seekers. And after this prompt with the next update, the site outlines its strengths for each type of user. So creative writers and storytellers get a direct path to names that fit the world that they're building. New parents, for example, can browse tailored baby name ideas, refining them by style and origin until they find something that feels just right. Privacy conscious users gain an instant, reliable way to create realistic fake identities for safe online use. And developers and designers can drop authentic names into their mockups instead of filler text. And for anyone chasing inspiration or just looking for a bit of fun, the generator offers an endless stream of unique, unexpected ideas. A site like this can be completely free to use, but adding monetization helps it grow, stay sustainable, and fund future features. The key is to do it in a way that feels seamless, ads that aren't distracting, plus a premium option for users who want more advanced capabilities. So I'm going to start all of that by telling Lovable something like this. Add Google AdSense to the website to show ads or ad banners, placing them in non-intrusive locations. 
the ad placeholder should look exactly like real Google AdSense ads with Google standard ad styling and format. And then I'm gonna add a sample image. To link the site with Google AdSense, I'm gonna sign in to my account here. I'm gonna enter my site name and then I'm gonna click save. Now, before moving forward, the app needs to be live. So I'm gonna go back to Lovable. I'm gonna hit publish, then copy the link and then paste it back into AdSense. After that, I'm gonna grab the AdSense code snippet. I'm gonna paste it into Lovable and then publish again. Once the code is in place, let's go ahead and check the verification box, click verify, then request review and submit. Approval can take anywhere from a few days to up to four weeks even. So placeholders styled like real ads will appear in the meantime. And they do look authentic without disrupting the browsing experience exactly as we asked for. The ad setup does add a steady stream of passive income, but there is also an opportunity to give our power users even more. Some visitors will be perfectly happy using the free tools that we provide, while others will want premium features that save them even more time and unlock more possibilities. So introducing a paid tier lets them access advanced filters, bulk exports, and other exclusive tools, all while keeping the core experience free for everyone. So let's go ahead and move on to the premium upgrade option by prompting Lovable with something like this. Integrate Stripe to enable secure online payments for premium features such as exclusive advanced name generation filters and bulk name exports. And with that, Lovable shows the setup requirements starting with connecting to Supabase via the green Supabase button here. Of course, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to choose Connect Supabase, Manage Connected Organizations, and then I'm just going to add a new one. Once the connection is active, I'll create a new Supabase project. I'm going to enter the project name and then password, then return to Lovable to connect it. Next, I'll enter the Stripe prompt again, something like this, integrate Stripe to enable secure online payments for premium features such as exclusive advanced name generation filters and bulk name exports. With that, Lovable asks for a clarification on the payment setup, so I'm going to reply something like this. I want a one-time payment of $9.99 for a premium subscription. Implement user authentication, login, and sign up. Yes, I have a Stripe account. And with that, I'm going to click Approve to confirm. Lovable then prompts me to add the Stripe secret key. I'll open my Stripe account, go to the dashboard here, click Developers, select API keys. I'm going to copy the secret key, then return to Lovable. I'm going to paste it in, and then I'm going to click Submit. After completing the setup, a sign-in button now appears on the site. And by default, Supabase sends a confirmation email after sign-up. But for this sample, I'm just going to turn it off by going to Authentication, then Sign In slash Providers, and toggling off Confirm Email. Now, before testing the checkout flow, let's publish the app again by clicking Publish in the top right here and selecting Update. Stripe is now fully integrated, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the sign in button, choose sign up, I'm gonna enter my details, and then click create account. And once logged in, I am going to open the profile menu here. I'm gonna select upgrade to premium and then land on the pricing page. Clicking the upgrade to premium button takes me to the Stripe checkout page, where here I'm just gonna enter my payment details and click pay. A confirmation now appears instantly, wherein premium access has now become active. A small premium badge is also now visible here in the navigation bar, and all of the exclusive features, including advanced filters and bulk name exports, all of that is unlocked. The Stripe checkout flow is now officially live and ready for real world transactions. All right, so through the course of only one video, we built a complete fully functional name generator platform, something that can work for casual users, serious creators, and even as a steady income stream. The truth is the gap between I wish I could build that and I'm running my own thing is smaller than most people think. 
because you do not need to spend months learning to code or hire a team of expensive developers. No, because you've seen it here, step by step, all done with one AI tool. So if you're ready to start building your own thing, click the link to Lovable down in the description below because that special link gives you double your credits, giving you more than enough to recreate what we just built and expand it into something completely your own. So don't be one of those waiting for the right time kind of people because the best time to start building is right now. Thank you for watching and spending your time with me here today. I'll see you down in the comments below and definitely at the next one.